The sheriff's deputies in Florida are looking for the person who killed three teens in less than 48 hours. That happened in a small town of just 1,500 people. And investigators have just released this image of a car. They say it belonged to one of the girls who died. Another one of the teens was found dead inside the car over the weekend. Investigators found the bodies within a five-mile radius, 60 miles north of Orlando. The car we just showed you was found at the bottom of Pond. The sheriff believes a wannabe gang could be responsible for the murders. Marion County Sheriff Billy Woods joins us. Now, Sheriff, it's good to see. I used to spend some time up in Marion County as a, as a young reporter, a rural part of Central Florida. Right. What is a wannabe gang? Well, it, it, you know, best way to describe it and, and probably better terminology is a neighborhood gang. You know, uh, wannabe gangs is not what we in law enforcement uh, considered to be a true gang. A true gang is an, is an organized structure. It has its boss. It has those subordinates to them where they lay it out, sort of like the cartel from uh, Mexico. They're organized. They're not to that level. And most gangs to this degree, uh, neighborhood gangs, they're going to be your teenagers, your juveniles who, who want to be into something, who are seeking that family unit and unfortunately, the family unit happens to be a whole pile of criminals is usually what it ends up being. All right. There's understandably uh, in Marion County is a beautiful place. Uh, people oh, don't really under understand the way North Central Florida is, but it's also a very rural place. And it is. Th these things don't really happen there. Just some sound bites, a uh, little bit of sound from some of your your residents. Take a listen. We don't want to live in the city. But they're starting to bring all this crime or whatever you want to call it to us. And you got to be afraid. They kept the lights on all night. I will tell you, I have a home gun now. Do people have a right to be scared while the killers of these three people are still on the loose? Oh, absolutely. If I lived in the neighborhood, I'd be concerned as well, too. But here, I'm here to encourage the citizens in that community that Obviously, with any incident, whether it be burglaries, whether it be homicides or robberies, when we have more than one or we have a rash of them, we always beef up patrol in those particular areas. And in this, this case is no different. Patrols are being beefed up. Special units are in that area. Target them. Um, and yeah, no, I, I understand that. I, mean, I, I covered in Marion County. I think it was a serial killer uh, who gunned down some campers with AK-47s. This is going back 15 years or so. Uh, and then right. and then skip town. Do we think these suspects are, are still in the area? Um, no. Wow. And do you think they were the, they knew these kids beforehand? You know, everything indicates to us at this time what information is that everybody knew each other, and um, to some degree. Um, but the killers are still on the loose. We have not made an arrest. That is correct. And do you guys know where they are if they're outside of the area? So, I'm sorry. Ask me that again. Do you know where the suspects are, even though they're outside of the area? Do you guys still have eyeballs on them? We know where every one of our suspects are. And that's all the lead. Every person, every lead that we have been given on individuals, we know where they all are. All right. Sheriff, uh, keep up the good work. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate you being with us. Good luck in the, in the search. Thank you very much. Appreciate yes, sir. it. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.